Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Penn National here on Saturday. It is May 30, 2015. Uh, before I get on to the races, I'm going to handicap. Remember to please follow me on Twitter at 316spegs for more selections. I'm going to look at these safe races for you, races 1 through 5. So let's get on to what today's fifth race. What is the second one in the Penn National Oaks? Uh, purse $150,000 for three year olds. Phillies. A uh, field of eight traveling one mile on the turf course. A uh, really nice race here. Traveling one mile. And I'm going to go with the 2 3 exact box here. Number two, Quality Rocks at 2 to 1. Jose Lascano last time out. The one at Churchill Downs, mile 16 from May the 1st. And the Edgewood Stakes for a three event out there. Finished second by two lengths. It was at the four path with the quarter pole. It just had no match for the winner that day. Same hard bar speed figure, but, but then in the Florida Oaks, Tampa Bay Downs, mile 16th on March 7th. Won by three quarters in length that day. He had inside trip and was very willingly that day. That was a career best of 90 bar speed figure. And then the Sweet Charmer Stakes that go from Park Mile on January the 24th. Went by two lengths. Uh, finished second by a uh, length. Excuse me. Finished second that day. Yeah, he do three wide, just drifted at the eighth pole. Just really couldn't get back to that one. Of course, right now, and actually, last year's free cup juvenile on Phillies Turf also finished 10th, uh, 23 1. Just threw wide to the stretch, just weak against a lot tougher horses. I'm going to go with this one today. I'm also going to put on my ticket to complete in the Zach Box here is a prize exhibit for three horses, 7 to 2. Mike Smith, last time out, throwing Sandy Park, Mom Eighth on May 3rd, and Honeymoon Stakes, great two event that day. Finished fourth by seven and a quarter lengths that day. He was off a bit slow and then was three wide into the lane. Then saying, you know, Mom Eighth on March, uh, April 4th on Poe and Sea Stakes, great three. Finished fourth by three lengths. He was uh, steady three at the three-eighths pole and uh, again at the quarter pole. Uh, I really like this horse here. This horse was pre released training in England. Actually, ran that last year's. Uh, uh, in last year's Breeders' Cup Juvenile Police Turf, it was trained with uh, Jamie Osborne last year. Finished fourth by five and a half lengths at 75, uh, 71 to 1. Excuse me. I was off a bit slow and was five wide for the stretch. Um, if this horse could go back to his starts in England, I uh, really like, really, really watch out for this horse. 72 here. So, we recap my best race number one for Penn National. I'm going to go with the 2 3. Now, let's get on to race number two from Penn National. What is the 45th running of the Pennsylvania Governor's Cup? First hundred fifty thousand dollars for three rolls and upwards. Field of seven horses traveling five furlongs. And I actually remember when I first started uploading YouTube videos of me handicapping the races, two thousand nine. I think I think this was one of the first really big long shots that gave out uh, for this race. I think it was like forty to one, something like that. Going five furlongs. It actually had it. But I actually had it. Been like 15 or whatever. Um, and I'm going to go with the uh, four horse here. The four Baggins Cat. Julian Lepin, uh, Julian Pimentel, excuse me. Last time out there on Pimlico, five problems. I made the 15th in Turks for $100,000 that day. Won by a neck. I have to say, it was a really good uh, win that day. He closed on the inside. I was just up in time. Um, then a lounge race. First start of the year, Pimlico, five problems on April 17th. And on 59,000 lounge race. Finished second by three lengths. He tracked two, three wide. It was very game that day. A very nice win. And then at uh, the Fabulous Strike Stakes, Penn National, six phones on the main track, November 29th. One by three quarters of length. He was three wide and returning to screw off late. Uh, career best of 104 buyer that day. Um, I have to say, over this third course, his horse is 3 and 1, one win, and one third. His horse at the distance, 23 and 15. 15 wins, 3 seconds, 2 thirds. So that's 15, 16, 17, 19 out of the uh, 23 starts have coming money. Really good for this horse. Um, the last start this horse had outside of Maryland. Um, on a turf course, it's actually a parks racing five phones, come to first in turf handicap, turf monsters handicap. They're second by net. Uh, he bought that start and lost the rain and just really couldn't recover from that. But still, finished second. A very, I have to say, a very nice second. Um, so going with this one here, it's three to two. Very, very tough to beat this one. Um, a lot of horse, a lot of horse players with their pick fours, pick five, or whatever they're doing, are, is, are probably going to single this horse. I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, so I'm going to go with this one. So I my bets for race number two from Penn National. I'm going to go with the four. Now let's get on to race number three from Penn National. What's the fourth one in the Mountain View Handicap? First $200,000 for three olds and upwards. We do have a field of 11 horses traveling one mile and one eighth. Traveling a mile and an eighth. 
And I'm going to go with the 3 4 exact box here. Another really nice race. A 3 Ferran, 10 to 1, Joe Bravo. Going to give you two prices here. Um, last time after he came on the 8th of April, the 11th in the Ben Alley Stakes. 26 by 18 and 3 quarter lengths. It was close up before wide, just retreated back that day. Um, I have to say, it wasn't the best run. Then the Ali Dar Stakes, Saratoga, on the 8th of August, the 17th, only three and a quarter lengths. He's at the rail at the first turn, was two to three wide at the second turn. I wanted to win that day. Uh, throw out last start, because his last start was his first start since August. Um, then April 19th, Keen the Mom, and last year's Ben Alley Stakes, finished fifth by eight lengths. Again, after a long layoff, uh, he's closed up five wide, just flat in that day. Um, I have to say, the source ran last year's Stiney Sticks 2014 of February 22nd, won by Neck. Um, he took over at the Reeds Fallen Fred Gamely. Um, I really like this horse here. Could have, like I said, I've been priced 10 to 1. Hopefully, it goes up even uh, longer if I give out this to Zaka. Uh, gonna go to Peter Lugers tonight. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go with this one. I'm also gonna go with the four here, East Hall. 12 to 1, shipping him from Florida. Last time out. Did one at uh, Goldstream Park, mile 316th on March 28th in Skipway Stakes. Finished fourth by f uh, 12 and a quarter lengths. Uh, he's three wide at the second turn, just had no threat. But if you look at these last few starts, he's, he's been running in South Florida. Look who he's been running against. Sir Quan, Sir Quan Quistador, Encryption, Commissioner, Honor Code, Private Zone, Valid, Constitution, Lay. Um, these horses are like really good horses. Wildcat Reddit was one of them also. And um, then Goldstream Park handicap. Goldstream Park will model March D7. Finished fifth by seven half lines. He was after all, just had no uh, real key that day. But uh, he gets to remember, this horse, this horse has been running against grade one caliber horses, so he's going to step back down to horse to grade three quality horses today. Uh, not to uh, make fun of the field, but these horses are not as good as those other ones. Um, then Don Handicap again, finished thick by eight and a half and a quarter lengths. He ended up corporal, just had no game. He's been finishing up like fourth thick against these top horses, 12 to 1. I'm very surprised this horse being really 12 to 1. Um, if, if I was making one one, I'd have this horse like 4 to 1, 5 to 1. The 12 to 1 is very, very reasonable on this one. Uh, then for your second in the Sunshine Million Sprint, and Sunshine Million no, Classic, excuse me, um, by half length, he's a bit of the corporal and carried out that day. And then the Sunshine Millions Classic Preview, uh, one by two lines, something I don't get personally. He's run the preview on uh, November the 8th, and they'll only run the race two months later. I should have it about six weeks, six weeks, or they should run nine, uh, about nine weeks they have between races. They should run it a little later for the uh, preview. Uh, this horse actually had a great two winner last year in the Indian Derby, one by length. Uh, it was two wide, bump strong, and had a very good drive that day. And won the Ohio Derby last year also, so watch out for this horse, 12 to 1. I'm saying, really, really watch out for this horse. I'm uh, going to go with this one. I'm going to give you an exact box here of the 3-4 hand race number 3. I'm uh, going to put a little bit of money in both horses here across the board. Maybe you, you can play 12 to 1 and 10 to 1. Watch out for these two. Uh, so now let's get on to race number 4 from Penn National. What is the third running of Penn Mile? Grade 3 event purse, $500,000. 10 horses traveling one mile on the turf course. One mile. Like I said, give me a break to uh, stop talking for a second. <laughs> and I'm going to go with the sixth horse here, the pen and the pen now. Night Power. power. Three to one. Javier Castellano for Chad Brown. I think Chad Brown won all two editions of this race so far. Hopefully, the third one is going to be his also. Last time out there, Keen went on soft turf. Four miles to the on April the 15th and Transbillion Stakes. Won by neck. We were all in destruction. We just stopped that day. Then in the Palm Beach Stakes, Gulfstream Park, Mile 16, so March 7th, finished fifth by five and a quarter lengths. He used to go out the second turn, just studied off to the eighth pole and one for that day. Um, and then Diana Beach Stakes, Gulfstream Park, 7th and from January 3rd, again, one by half lane. Um, he threw out the second turn, just angled out the eighth pole. Um, his best bar came actually in the Transmillion to start last time out. Um, I really like this horse here. I'm training at Belmont, five from the 102 and three on the Inner turf course. Uh, that was the 15th best on 19th that day, and another 5 for work at Belmont on turf course on 103 to 19th best on 22. Uh, the source is a Gelding, also to get that out there. Uh, so, gonna go with this one here. Uh, one Javier Castellano, really, really hard to beat this one. So, count my bets. Race number four for Penn Naturals, Penn Nile. Gonna go with the six. 
Now let's get on to race number five, which is probably the worst race out of all the races I've been handicapped today, actually, for every track. But it is the Limpard Stakes per $75,000 for the Mayor's Drills, not boards. We do have a field of 12 horses traveling a mile and 16th, and I can tell you this race is wide open, but it's against it's very crappy horses right here. Mile and 16th. Mile and 16th. And I'm going to go with the 11 horse here. Number 11, bound at 4 to 1 last time. I thought Park's race with him on May 17th on Trace 37,000. One by head. He angled out just up in, in that day. Um, this horse has never run on the turf. Biggest question with this horse, never run on the turf. But has run on synthetic twice, both at Prescott Downs, once a mile 16th on August 10th, and a mile rose stakes 75,000. Here's second by four lengths. He was off slow, but it's very warm to me that day. And then in uh, Prescott Downs, mile 70 yards, June 24th, allowance race. One by two lengths. It was just I had a quick burst that day running on the synthetic. Hopefully that form comes back to this turf course. I'm hoping. I uh, really do. Uh, but I can handle the distance. I've jump start in AP and D. But I'm uh, really hoping this one can handle turf here. Let's go with this one. So recap my best race for five from Penn National. I'm going to go with the 11. Good luck to all. And follow me on Twitter at 316 Fix.